Greetings, dear Shambra. Greetings. It is I, Katumi, delighted to be with you. I fill the room. I fill your hearts. I fill what used to be your mind but does not exist anymore. <laughs> And together we dance. We dance this thing called life. We enjoy the freedom and the expression to be without limitations. I would like to see a new Katumi workshop. Yes, I am enlightened, and now I'm going to enjoy. Yes, I am enlightened, and now I can be a fool if I want to be. I can be who I am. <laughs> For a brief moment I wondered if I should just ascend my body, to leave the physical plane, to go off into my third circle. And then I said, bullshit. <laughs> this was what I had been looking forward to. This is what I had suffered for. And damn it, I was going to enjoy life now. Now that I was free, now that I was me, I was going to go out into the world and see it in a way that I had never seen it before. And I did. I went to the finest restaurant I could find. The finest restaurant, and why not? I had starved myself for years, depriving myself of food, depriving myself of the human luxuries. And I went and ordered the finest, finest meal that was available, and I drank the good wines, not the cheap ones. It's a rule of thumb, never drink cheap wine. It is not living, it is suffering. <laughs> I then decided to set off traveling to visit all of the places that my soul had had lifetimes in the past. I decided to set off for places like Egypt and France and Greece. All of these places where my soul had had experiences, not to collect myself, not to heal myself, but to visit, to feel into the experiences that my soul had had through these other incarnations. As I started my travels, the greatest joy, perhaps, was meeting and talking to other human beings. Day-to-day -day people, people with children, people who worked in the hospitals, in the schools, in the factories. Wherever I could find music being made by humans, I would go there to sing around the fire play the instruments myself. I had not learned how to play any in my lifetime. But I quickly picked it up and I found music had a new depth, had a new sensual nature to it, and it filled my soul to hear the music, to dance with it, to sing with it. Oh, in a way that's so difficult to describe, oftentimes only your ears hear the music. But now my soul felt it. It was one of the reasons that I chose to stay so much longer after my enlightenment, to be with the music, the expression, the joy of life. And I realized that this too was another reason to spend many more years on earth, to share in an intimate relationship and to be proud of it. To share in this touch with another human, to share in the making of love. I wasn't interested in just sex. I was interested in the true Tantra, the true love. And I did have lovers. Not a lot, but they were so meaningful, taught me so much about the body, the soul, 
taught me so much about sharing, and I realize this is something that the angels cannot do. This is something only the humans can partake of, and I enjoyed it tremendously. I found that there was not much need to sleep, but yet I enjoyed sleeping because my dreams were different. My dreams were as real as my waking state. My dreams allowed me to soar. They allowed me to imagine, and then I could easily bring those dreams into this reality. I learned that life truly is like being a bird. You could spread your wings, spread your consciousness, open up, and soar. It was like being a bird because a bird doesn't worry in the morning about where its next meal is going to come. It knows that the worm will be there for it. The worm will come up from the ground for it, saying, here I am for you. The bird doesn't store food. The bird doesn't fret about food. The bird doesn't necessarily even get fat. It just is in the now moment. And this was life. This was beautiful life. 